Hey guys, it's me Ashley. Welcome back to another video. So, um, this is the look that I'm gonna show you how I did. I to do it. My English is solid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But this is the look that I have created. It's a rainbow. It's a butterfly, and it's for Pride Month. Um, I just searched up on Google, and it says Pride Month is October. But I keep seeing people posting on Instagram, and I'll show you guys here. Make sure of it. But I'll show you guys what I mean. But yeah, this is the face of a girl who was thoroughly confused because YouTube sent me that email and I was like, oh, it's for this month. Um, and then Google said something else and then people are posting on Instagram like so many different things. But anyways, enjoy the look uh, that I created. <laughs> Stay to the end of this video to see my Instagram pictures or you can check out my Instagram. Yeah, let's get started with this look. Hey guys, okay, I don't have any makeup on. I'm recording this before I record my intro, so I hope the makeup look turned out good. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be creating the butterfly. You already saw it, I hope. But um, yeah, so let's get started. I don't think I'm going to start with my base first because um, the powders are so strong because they're pigmented. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. And so it falls. Like, I don't want there to be so much fallout and then I have to do my foundation all over again. So first we're gonna clip my hair back. Um, I have bangs now. <laughs> we're doing a butterfly look and I'm using my butterfly clip, but <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think there's any way that I could make this look cute. So we're just gonna go with it, yeah. <laughs> I have three palettes open in front of me because we're gonna use colors from each palette. Um, yeah, because one palette doesn't create all the colors that I'm looking for. And I hope there's enough space on my face to do it. First thing I'm going to do is start off with my Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. A really long title. But this one I love because it's part of the, whatchamacallit. I already practiced on my hand, so I guess I have to use the other one. But, um... If you guys remember from my old video, I used the coconut water-based primer and I lived for it and now I'm living for this one. I feel like since it's been literally three months since I recorded anything, um, it was like my birthday video, but I feel like since it's been so long, I'm like, I feel shy to show like my face because like the acne that has colonized on me <laughs> i want to make sure that the eyeshadows stick well so i'm just gonna apply it on the back as well okay so i already have a clean it's i feel like it's stained honestly i've tried so much to clean it and it's kind of ripped but my beauty blender we're gonna take my fenty beauty concealer in the shade 190 um yeah <laughs> I'm just, I'm literally just gonna apply this everywhere around my eyes. And later when I do the foundation, okay, I look crazy, but later when I do the foundation, it's all gonna look nice. I hope. <laughs> the concealer creates like a tacky base and that's exactly what I need. Um, so yeah, I think it's time to go in. I'm nervous. <laughs> I kind of outlined what I'm looking for on my hand. Um, I hope it comes out like this because this is really nice. But if it doesn't, then it's all right. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Conspiracy palette. Yeah, uh, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's Tanacon in the crease and higher, like in this area, just as a transition because we are going to be building a lot of colors and I want a nice base. If you want to know what, oh wow. If you, <laughs> I like, I haven't done a makeup video like this in forever. So seeing the color is like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> My, yeah, it's okay. Uh, if you want to know what brush this is, I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's from the Gorgeous Cosmetics. Uh, it's number B114. There we go. Yeah. 
I don't know if I should do one eye first. I think I'm gonna do one eye first, but I'm just gonna add some color so this one is not left out. And I'm dragging the product outside of my brow because the eyeliner is gonna go like, you know? Now we cut the crease. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Take some of the Fenty Beauty and I'll put it on the back of my hand like that. And I'm using this little flat brush like that. And this is just a regular cut crease, but we're gonna stop like, I got it on my eyelashes, bro. Wow, I'm smart. We're gonna stop it like 75%. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just go close so you see what I'm doing. I'm just following the shape, but I you have to go a little bit higher so that when you look up and you know you blink a lot and stuff, the crease doesn't like fade out and it stays like sharp. You feel? Something I want to mention right now, if you are following and doing the look with me, the end of the cut crease on top make it flick outwards so later when we do the eyeliner you can like kind of connect it and it'll be the starting point for the butterfly wing if that you're gonna see later but yeah i'll show you when i do the eyeliner don't worry we're pretty much looking for that stickiness so the um the colors that we paint on stick to it that's the best way i could explain it <laughs> yeah Morphe M321 brush, and I'm really nervous, <laughs> but uh, first we're gonna dip into this red shade right here. It is, it looks like it's so powerful, and I'm ready for the fallout, but I'm nervous. Dude, YOLO. We're gonna only apply this to like a quarter of like the front. Oh, wow. I think I need a smaller brush. Whoa, hold up. Yup. That looks amazing. I think this brush is better for like when I do the outer part. So I'm just going to leave it and grab a smaller brush. Yeah, this might be better. This is the Morphe E36 brush. That's what it looks like. Um, I use this for highlighter, but I do have like two other highlighting brushes. So I guess it's all right. I think that looks good, especially because we gotta blend in the orange color. Um, I have I have orange in three of the palettes. Uh, I I feel like I'm gonna go in with this one and use this orange just because it's from the same palette. I feel like it'll blend better. Um, not only are we using the Conspiracy palette, we're gonna be using the Afrique by Juvia's, which these shades. Uh, I'm using it for the green. And maybe the yellow. I don't know. The orange seems a little bit too dark on here. And this one is more... Ooh. This one's more of like a vibrant orange. And I'm looking for the, the pop of color. And I also have the James Charles palette. And we have the orange right there. But I don't know. I'm gonna just stick to this palette. Like I said. <laughs> I think the trick to these colors is just packing on the product. I have a napkin that I'm using to um, clean the brush, just like from the color. I have to thingy where you go like that and the color just comes off, but um, I'm too lazy to grab it. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, this orange, orange, this yellow, bro, bro, yellow, yellow. And we're going to add that to the third color. Oh, wow. That looks like a, a sunset. Sunrise? Sunrise. Wow, my English is... It's not there. Okay, I added some color to all the colors. I'm trying to blend in the orange and the yellow seamlessly, but it's not going as I would like. But it's okay, it's not bad. <laughs> no comment, no comment. Now we go in with the green. 
I'm nervous for the green. I'm just going with the James Charles palette. Yeah, we're gonna use these two greens right here. So I don't I already dipped into this one, so I guess that's a sign to just dip into this one, the darker one. And this is weird. This is the weird part. We're gonna make a V shape. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. I think I need another brush. Yep, I do. Okay. And I just use this brush for blending like so. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you guys see seeing the fallout of green? Not bad, not bad. Uh, now I'm gonna clean this brush once again. And we're gonna dip into the purple. Purple's my favorite color, guys. So the reason why I'm adding some concealer right there is because the way that we're gonna make the eyeshadow is um, we're gonna make it in like a little circle. Like it's gonna look really, really weird, but you guys have to trust the process, all right? But we're gonna dip into this purple right there there because i kind of want it to be a little dark um yeah when we add the pink we're gonna smoke it out it's gonna look really nice but go in with that purple and just add it right here oh <laughs> i'm sorry if she's cute like dead ass make a ball like that like i can't see no i can see it looks weird, but once we do the eyeliner and we add the white dots, y'all, it's gonna look popping, pop, pop, pop. We're gonna go in. <laughs> We're gonna go in with this pink right there and just apply it to the bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna have to do this after as well, but for now, I just want a little bit, you know. Oh, sorry. I did not expect it to look that good. So I'm gonna go back in with my cut crease brush right here. And I'm just gonna shape it how I want it. Like that. And then going, I'm gonna fix the line as well more sharper yeah that's perfect okay now eyeliner i use two different brushes for my cook okay <laughs> well for the eyeliners we're gonna start off with the liquid liner by anastasia beverly hills this is what she looks like and then for the white eyeliner we're gonna go in with the nyx professional makeup <laughs> white eyeliner um with this we're gonna draw out the shape of the butterfly which i start from here and go like that like this and then i'm telling you guys this because it's gonna be hard to see when i have the mirror up close to me but we're gonna do this part up so make the tail just connect it connecting from the um cut crease line that we created right there just about where the green ends but you could push it a little bit more if that's how you're feeling and you do a flick outwards and then go down here from the line of the green and make a flick outwards as well. And here you're gonna make a little circle. This is what she looks like if you wanted to look. You can use any eyeliner, honestly. But this one, I just like it because I feel like it lasts longer because it's in a pod. Not bad. I didn't follow in the line because I noticed that the green is going way too out and I don't want it to be that far out because then I'm just going to look funny. <laughs> okay, time for the little circle. Wow, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them a little thicker so then when I put the white dots you could actually see them now what we're gonna do is pretty much I start like this every time I've started I've done this I think but um you start drawing this part of the butterfly like the lines okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start from this line and I'm gonna go down make an X not really an X but you know what I mean like that okay and then we go like this okay and you just draw it how you like it I like them to be a little bit bigger the lines don't have to be perfect either because it's the overall look that we're going for like it's not gonna be paid attention to so much if you make a mistake so don't worry about it don't be hard on yourself okay i don't know if i want to make it like an eyeliner type of thing yeah i'm doing it <sighs> i think i have to actually because um I'm going to add like a little lash and I want it to be seamless. See, that looks perfect. And we're going to do the same thing for the little circle, even though it's kind of harder because it's a circle. <laughs> that looks beautiful and perfect. Now white eyeliner. I like the NYX ones because it's like a really thin, so it's very precise. Um, yeah. So now we just make white dots on what we drew. So I'm going to start like right there. You just have to be really careful. <laughs> but yeah. Twenty twenty vision, baby. Yep. That's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be back with you guys to highlight and then add some highlight here. Um, and I'll just briefly tell you how I do the base of my face, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'll do this eye off camera. You guys ready for the transition? One, two, and three, I think. <laughs> this is how i've been trying to get them to be the exact same but this is the best that i could do i feel like this one's a little bit higher from here but they're sisters not twins so it's okay we're gonna do the base of our face what i'm going to do is spray the milk hydro grip set and refresh spray so this is like a prep and also a prime um, yeah, I'm just gonna spray this because we already put primer. I had my hands on my face like the entire time and I want to make sure that the primer can like reactivate, I guess. I'm gonna tell you guys what I do for the base of my face and then I'm gonna do it. And also my eyebrows and my lips. <laughs> or actually I'll come back when it comes to my lips. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and my face off camera. I'm gonna go in with the NARS foundation. This is in the shade Santa Fe. Yes, and I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty uh, Concealer in shade 190. These are perfect. And then I'm going to bake my face with the Jackie Megiddo No Shine Loose Powder. This one is kind of yellowish because I mixed banana in it. So there's like kind of a tint and it's not just white. But yeah, this powder. To contour, I'm going to go in with the, what is this called? The Urban Decay uh, Afterglow blush in the shade video and i'm gonna go in with the hula and the dandelion by benefit these are my favorite so my eyebrows are done my base is done i'm just baking really fast reverse contouring i'm just gonna show you guys how i do my lashes um i don't remember the brand this is from there's literally nothing on it but the lashes i pretty much cut them and i'm gonna take a piece of them and put it on the ends but first we take the L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara. First, put a lot of mascara. This is step one. Take our lash glue. This one is by Kiss. Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm gonna strap this. I'm just gonna do it with my fingers, actually. So I just put it on here I 
I think once it like, oh, okay, that's perfect. And beautiful and seamless. <laughs> Not a huge difference, but it's there. Like in person, the effect is there. Do you see that? Oh, yep, yep, the effect is there. Yep, yep. <laughs> Who is she, bro? I'm gonna take off the bake. Um, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M501 brush. This is the perfect highlighting brush for me. Should I? Yeah. I used up all my Too Faced, Too Faced Peach Mist setting spray. Like, like, there's nothing in it anymore. So I'm stuck with the e.l.f. Mist and Set, which I bought this for a separate video where I wanted to do just full face of e.l.f. products, which that video will be coming. And now that I mentioned it, I'm going to put it in the description just in case you see this video later. So I'm just going to spray the... I'm just going to spray with the e.l.f. Mist and Set and see what happens. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm terrified. There's no smell to it, which is good. Oh, what? Radiance? <laughs> Take my Conspiracy palette, and this is what I do. I dip in the shade Ranch and uh, Just a Theory. These two are perfect, and I'm going to show you exactly how I use them. I'm also going to be using my Morphe M213 brush. This is so I could precisely get... You know, and make a straight line for my nose. M501 brush. We'll start with this brush. Dipping into just the theory and ranch. Just a little mix. Y'all see that? Is something happening? <laughs> yep, that's what I want. That's what I want. And just dragging, dragging it upwards. Uh... Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just in pure shock. Look at it. Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX lip pencil in the shade Ever. Is it Ever? It's Ever. I have used this since like 6th grade. <laughs> We're a mess, but we made it. This is the final look. I'm gonna get dressed and look cute and fix up my hair a little bit. And yeah, I'll do the outro and the intro. The look did look good, so I'm glad. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I had so much fun. Happy Pride Month. Let me get dressed. I'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> I put on this kind of rainbow-ish shirt. Um... This is the final look. I love it. Personally, I love it. Um, I took the hair clip and I tied some of my hair back, but I left some of the little bangs down. And yeah, I love it. Like, I really love it. Um, I feel like even though it's like crazy, it's just like so put together. And for someone who hasn't done like dramatic makeup in like forever, this is like, this is amazing to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go take some pictures, uh, look cute. I mean, I already look cute, sheesh, but I'm going to go take some pictures for Insta, the gram, you already know the vibes, and I'm going to show you them right now, I'll put them on the screen. Um, I took these pictures, this is the idea I had in mind, I used my LED lights, um, I made a couple TikToks as well, if you want to check out my TikTok, the name of it will be in the description box down below. I will also leave a list of all the products I use down below as well, just in case you guys wanted to take a deeper look into something that I didn't mention, or like go into detail about. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can click that subscribe button or turn on post notifications if you want to be notified when I upload a video. <laughs> I think that's all I have for you guys. Happy Pride Month. If you're celebrating Pride, happy Pride Month to you. Um, yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye. Okay. I already finished the look, but I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. So I'm gonna do that now. I think I was just too excited. Hey. There we go.
Okay, now bye-bye.